One of the challenges that I faced when first moving into my van was finding um, a coffee maker that wouldn't drain my battery. I do use uh, a Kodiak Energy uh, Power System, solar power generator, and that's how I mainly get all of my power. So in order not to drain the battery, I needed to find appliances that were low wattage. I think that some van dwellers may be struggling with this, so I thought maybe I'd put together a video on the different things that I have come across in my search um, while, while I'm living in the van. The first one that I'm going to talk about is the coffee maker that I chose. And it took me a while to find a coffee maker that didn't use a ton of power. Most of them generally use about 900 to 1,000, maybe even up to 1,200 watts. And that's a lot of power. So I kept looking and looking, and I found one that only uses 450 watts. And it only uses that for five minutes or less. So... The one that I chose is the Brentwood Single Cup Coffee Maker, and I'm going to do a review on that in this video. Okay, so this is the actual unit, and you see on this side you have the on-off switch right here. I don't have it plugged in yet. And then it comes with its own cup, which was one of the things that was on the reviews. People were upset about the size of the cup, but... It's not a bad size. That's about the size of a cup that I drink every day anyway, so I didn't have any problems with it. And then up in here, this is where the water would go in, in the back there. And then you've got a removable filter. And then you've got a removable, I don't, I don't even know what that is, but that comes out too, I guess, if you wanted to wash it. None of these can go in the dishwasher, although... Who's going to have a dishwasher in their van, really? I mean, come on. Uh, okay, so that's the actual unit. It's nice and compact and small. And that's probably part of the reason why it doesn't use, you know, that much wattage. So that's that. All right, so in the next part, I'm going to make a cup of coffee just to show you how... I mean, everybody knows how to make a cup of coffee, but that's how I do it. So I'm just measuring the water out. And then I pour it into the reservoir here. Okay. And I like to use a filter on mine, so... What I'm going to do, I made these from, like I just cut up paper towels, and they fit pretty easily in here, so I'll just do that, and then we're ready to add the coffee. So it does come with a little scoop, too. Um, and usually I like my coffee strong, so I usually use like one and a half of the scoops. And there we go. Coffee in there, ready to go. So then you just take this and you drop it into the top. You stick your cup back under. Sorry about that, there was a plane going over so I had to pause the video. Okay, so then the next thing that I do is I put my cup back under and then I'm going to plug it into my power source. And this, the energy, the Kodiak energy, um, the only plugs that work when the unit is not on are the two 12-volt um, plugs. So if you need to use any of your USB ports or the regular household plugs, you need to turn the unit on. So I've done that. And then, as you can see, this is on right now. So we will be getting a cup of coffee in just a few minutes. 
and it's right now it's drawing 436 amps of power um, but nine of those are from me actually turning the unit on so um, it's what it's under the 450 that that it says on the bottom of the actual appliance so in just a few minutes we'll be getting a nice little cup of coffee and we'll be enjoying okay I had to turn it off again because there was another plane going by I'm right next to a uh, naval air base so there's a lot of planes and as you can hear there comes another one right now but I'm gonna try to let it just go um, hopefully it won't get too loud sorry if it is I don't know if you guys can actually see it but the coffee is already starting to come out um, can't really move the tripod to show it to you but it is starting to make a cup of coffee and won't be too long one thing that I do want to mention is on the inside I don't know if you noticed when I first showed you the inside there's a little bar that you have to move out of the way to uh, pour the water in um, you want to make sure that you move that bar back over over the coffee because I have done it a couple times where I didn't move that back and it was like what is going on why is this thing not making coffee it's because that bar is the part that actually sucks the water up into it and over your coffee grounds so if that's not pointing over the coffee grounds then it's just going to sit there and recycle the water over and over again because it'll go right back into the reservoir where you add the water so just a little tip um, probably not everybody's as stupid as me but, but I actually did that so there you go anyways we're a cup the coffee's coming along good and we're gonna be enjoying a nice hot fresh cup of coffee in just a few minutes and here comes another plane so I'm gonna shut you down okay so the coffee's almost done that plane is pretty much gone over sometimes they get really really loud here so but I don't know if you can hear it I see the steam coming off here but it actually is uh, getting ready to finish now one thing with this unit is that it doesn't have an automatic shutoff so living in a van you would you would unplug it anyways in a house you may not so you will have to shut that this off when the coffee is actually done brewing I just unplug it when I'm done because I don't want to be wasting my power um, so there we go we have a nice hot fresh cup of coffee in just a few minutes okay so I took the camera off the tripod so that I could show you the coffee and there you go and then I have my little creamer thing here I'm gonna pour some in and we'll give it a taste test okay so uh, I don't know if you can hear that plane going over but anyways so there's my coffee and I'm gonna give it a taste test excellent so that's how I do coffee and uh, hope it helps somebody out there okay so I'm just sitting here enjoying my coffee but one other thing that I did want to mention about this unit is that it's really really easy cleanup so all you do see this is that arm that I was talking about that you have to make sure that it's pointed over the grounds um, and so then to clean up all you do is you just take this out and you toss it in your trash so here's my little trash thing and you just dump it in there and then it's clean and ready for the next use so anyways I hope that this helps someone out there because I know I I looked for a long time before I was able to find something that was low wattage that I could use in my van and not uh, drain my battery so hope you enjoyed the video thanks a lot